Hey everyone, it's Rihanna and welcome back to another TV review. This is a spoiler-free review of Sense8, which is Netflix's new original show that premiered on June the 5th, last Friday, created by the Wachowski twins who also did The Matrix and Jupiter Ascending. Now I had pretty high expectations for this show, being a science fiction show, I'm a huge sci-fi fan and I have some feelings about it, so let's talk about Sense8. Now the main premise of Sense8 is that eight individuals from across the world, we have London, Berlin, Mumbai, uh, Nairobi, San Francisco, all across the world suddenly feel the senses of each other. They can connect to each other and communicate with each other and use each other's skills. Now it's a kind of subtly sci-fi show. I was expecting it to be more sci-fi. I was expecting more of an explanation and it is very hard to get into the show. The pilot episode is a slow burn and it's definitely not the best episode of the season. Once you get two, three episodes into the season, you just get addicted. You have to press next episode, next episode, next episode, until you get to the end, because that's what happened with me. As we are following these eight individuals that can connect to each other through their senses, it is kind of difficult to follow all the different storylines. You really have to get used to it. As a fan of Game of Thrones, I'm very used to following different storylines throughout a television show, but this one mainly focuses on the characters' lives and the problems they're dealing with when they've learned that they can communicate with each other from across the globe. When they see each other, they kind of freak out. As for a cast of characters, it's incredibly diverse. I really applaud Netflix for their shows and their diversity in their shows. We have four main female characters, four main person of colour representations, and then we have two characters who are LGBT characters. And it's just incredible. They break down all sorts of stereotypes in the show. Now I've watched all of the show, asking me to pick a favourite sensei is like asking me to pick a favourite child. I don't have a favourite child, but it would be like asking someone to pick their favourite child. You just can't choose. They have so many great personality traits and their storylines are pretty insane. Some of them get more screen time than the others, but that changes as the series goes on. We have Will, Riley, Caffius, Sun, Leto, Nomi, Wolfgang and Carla. They're all from across the globe and I love them as individuals but I would really like to see them work as a team more often in the show. They kind of pass through each other's lives. There's never really more than kind of five in the same frame. I love the way they do the cinematography on this show by the way guys. It's a gorgeous show to look at and they have different directors for each country and it's all shot on location so it just looks fantastic. As I said the plots of the show are kind of hard to keep up with. It's very personal to the characters so you're going from one place to the other so you just have to keep up. I love the way that the show doesn't dumb itself down for the audience though it knows its audience's intelligence which is something I really really like. I had high expectations for this show, I expected more sci-fi, I expected more answers to come earlier on in the show but I am still insanely intrigued and I really like the mystery in the show. I just wanted more answers um, a little bit earlier in the season. We didn't really get much of the origins of the Sense8s which I really really wanted to get into because the first pilot episode of this show is really intriguing in terms of like spirituality and religion and things like that that come into the show. It's really really interesting when you dive into it. The show actually has an incredible amount of action, violence and sexual content as well. It's a very risque show but the action is shot so well and it's so unexpected. I was sitting watching the show on my laptop with my mouth hanging open, me screaming at the characters, me screaming at the plot and when I get that invested in a show, I know I really like it. Of course, Sense8 has its flaws sometimes. I saw a review that said it's a Netflix show with the budget of a HBO show that has the writing of a CW show. The writing is a weak point in the story. Some of it feels just like anyone could have written it. It doesn't feel um, very intelligent sometimes. It can feel very weak. The show has funny moments that I just died laughing of, but then they can be really overdramatic and cheesy at times as well, which is what I had most of the problems with in the writing for a show that is so intelligent and subtly sci-fi with these insanely interesting characters you would just expect the writers to do a more solid job and just to be a little more intelligent with the dialogue and with the plot lines and the plot arcs of the characters. I can say I was a little bit disappointed in the show as a whole because I didn't get what I expected but I liked it in different elements than what I expected it to be. Should you watch Sense8 if you've watched the trailer and you're intrigued 
go watch it. It's not the same as what the trailer gives you, but you still might be really invested in the characters and intrigued by the plot, which I am. I would love to see a season two and see these characters come back together. I might even rewatch this season and just sort of go back into that world because binge watching is a dangerous thing to do because now I have nothing to watch. As I said, the pilot episode is a slow burn. You have to get three, four episodes into it really to get into the show and you really just have to get used to going from place to place. It's an incredibly short show. The acting's really great as well and you just get so attached to the premise and the characters. It doesn't use its premise to its full potential but I am having high hopes from season two. I expect a lot from the Wachowskis and from this premise. I just hope it gets bigger and better. As a rating, I will give Sense8 a, a low win because it's more to the line of draw because there were some disappointments in the show but I did like it overall as a show. My advice to you if you want to watch Sense8 just watch the pilot if it's not for you maybe try another episode and if it's not for you after that I will forgive you but my chances are that you're gonna want to watch all 12 episodes after you see episode 2. So that was my spoiler free review of Sense8. If you guys have watched the show let me know what you thought of it down below in the comments but please warn for spoilers for people who haven't seen the show. If you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting on new movie reviews and TV reviews very very soon. All my social media links will be down below in the description. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you very soon. Bye!